What's up everyone? So I told you a couple weeks ago on the Instagram page that we were going to have a really cool tool coming to the channel. Now we did a lot of CNC videos and how-to videos on the CNC and one of the biggest questions I had was what about a 3D printer? And I gotta be honest with you, I never used one before so I was a little intimidated. But because you asked, Home Depot and Dremel sent one over to us and we're going to take a look at it. Now this is going to be a complete new series on the channel. I'm going to show you in today's episode what exactly it takes to hook this up. And then I'm going to show you in other episodes different modeling softwares, how to use them, and how to get a finished product. I will tell you the first attempt that I did on this machine, it came out pretty good and it's not as hard as I thought it would be to actually get started on a 3D printer. Now this is the Dremel DigiLab 3D45. So let's talk about how long it actually took me to set this up and how long it took me to get my first print done. Now, when I first took this out of the main box, I opened up the printer and I noticed a bunch of egg carton looking type of packaging. When I seen that, I thought to myself, here we go, there's going to be a ton of assembly like the CNC was, but I gotta be honest with you, there was basically no assembly at all. There were a couple pieces that came with the machine that you're going to need, but you can literally start printing within about 30 minutes of this machine arriving and that's really all it is when it comes to unpackaging this machine now the printer is actually really sharp looking it looks really nice in just about any room so if you wanted to throw this up on a desk in your office or something then you wouldn't have an issue because it would actually probably look pretty cool and as far as size goes you're only looking at 18 and 3 quarters inches wide and high and the weight's only about 47 and a half pounds now some of the things you're going to get with this, you're going to get a couple glue sticks, which you're definitely going to need. We'll talk about that here in a bit. You're also going to get your glass build tray. You'll get a scraper. You're also going to get a cable to hook your computer up. We'll talk about that here in a bit. You also have the directions, which is a pretty large booklet. I did use it a little bit to hook it up, but to be honest, after watching this video, you should be fine. You're also going to get two spools. This is the plastic, one's white, one's black. So one is the ECO ABS filament and the other one is the spool of nylon filament. And just letting you know, you can use PLA, ABS or nylon in this machine. Now let's start hooking this up. The power cord goes in the back of the unit, very simple to plug in and then it just goes into your 110. On the side of the unit, you do have your on and off button and an ethernet cable attachment. Now right up on the front panel, this is where all the magic happens. Once you turn on your power, it's going to kick on and say Dremel Digilab. Next thing you know, all kind of lights are going to start popping on on the inside. You're going to hear some clicking and clacking. But do not worry, my friend. It's all normal. And now it is time to put in your settings. So I'm from the States. We're going to hit United States and, of course, English. This step-by-step -step process is super easy. All you're going to do is wait for it to boot up. And then once it does, you will see the terms of service. Now, don't freak out. It might take a minute to reboot, but I promise you it will go. So accept it, and then you're going to see get started in three steps. Now, it looks easy. There's a little bit of a curve here, but let's get our Wi-Fi set up. You're just going to hit the start button. It's going to take you to the next page. It's going to say searching available networks. Doesn't take long. Now all you have to do is find the network that you want to connect to and then type in your password. Now, of course, my password is subscribe, but once you type in yours, it will start connecting to the internet. Now, once you establish connection, I would definitely register right here where it says dremeldigilab.com slash register because you get a one year warranty on this machine. Once you get registered, just hit next. Now, this is where we're going to put in the plastic filament. Over on the left-hand side of the machine, you just flip it and then pull it out. Really simple, easy to do. You're going to take whatever filament you want, and then we're going to put it in. Now, you can also see how that filament is sort of tucked up inside that spool. We're going to cut that piece off, but you can also see there's a little hose right there. We're going to put that filament up in through that hose and then feed it up and through. Really simple to do. Don't worry about this step. Now, once you start feeding this up through that tube, you're going to see it starting to come up on the inside. We'll fix that here in a bit, but you can see it popping out of the hose. You're going to take that lid and you're going to pop it open like so. Real simple. Now you're just going to sort of tug it over towards the front right. And there you go. You're just going to put that in that little holder like so and then just throw her down in the hole. And that is it. You just want to make sure that you push it down until it stops. Now that you got your plastique inside of the holder, 
what you need to do is come down to the screen again and it'll say feed filament and two extruder grabs it which it already did and then you simply hit the next button now once you hit that next button it's going to tell you to press the done button right down here on the bottom right when you see the plastic or the filament starting to extrude a little bit now you can see that right there it's coming out of the extruder we know that everything is set up correctly it is ready to go now all I have to do is press my done button now it's starting to detect the filament here and your filament is now loaded one more step hmm what could that be let's hit the next button and it's saying apply a thin layer of glue on the platform I'm gonna tell you skip this process right now you don't need it I put it on because I was following the directions but I wasn't ready to build anything so just hold off for that but what you can do is put your build plate in and you can see it clamps down like so this is your glue and if you were going to put it on right now you just want to make sure that you cover the area that the print is going to start basically landing on you want it to stick to that glass and again I wouldn't do this yet but this is how you do it so the next step is to make sure that the leveling is correct so all you have to do is hit next and it will start to level itself now this is really cool and actually really easy I thought it was going to be a lot harder than this but you can see it's starting to raise up towards that leveling switch on the bottom of the extruder and it's gonna start moving around a little bit and you're gonna start getting nervous and saying ah oh, what do I do next don't worry I'm gonna show you so this thing is trying to find out where it's at with the level and it's telling you okay the build platform is a little bit too high so it's telling you on the bottom left here you have to turn right to lower so there's two knobs that I showed you one on the left one on the right we're gonna turn this one just like so and two it tells me to stop now it's going to readjust you're gonna hit verify and once you hit verify it'll find out if it's level or not and if it's not it's going to tell you to turn it a little bit more so it's gonna go back down back up back down back up and it's gonna say up oh, nope you gotta go a little bit more so you're gonna to have to play with this a little bit to get this adjusted but once you hit verify and you get it to that area eventually you will it'll work fine and now that we adjusted a little on each side and again it walked me through it it's saying leveling is complete build on and technically right now you could start building if you wanted to now there's a USB port right on the front a lot of people are gonna say well this thing is Wi-Fi and all that good stuff I actually really like the USB and we'll talk about that here in a little bit but you can see there's a little bit of an issue there are three different icons on the front now if I wanted to build they already have a couple presets and I built myself a frog which I'll show you here in a bit I think that's everybody's first build nobody was impressed by my frog but if I wanted to build my frog which is probably the shortest time that they have on here you just hit the build button and it'll start printing it out I am sure you probably want to build more than just frogs so how do you build your own stuff and how do you hook up to the cloud and this is what I'm going to show you now because this is where I had a little bit of an issue now you can use the Dremel version of the cloud or you can use what's called polar 3d or polar cloud now I will put a link in the description below for you guys to check this out but this is what your Wi-Fi is for this is how you can use your printer completely wirelessly now you can sign up using your Google account your Facebook account your Microsoft live account doesn't matter but this is what it allows you to do first thing first you have a 720p camera inside you can see it up on the top left corner inside the door of your 3d printer this allows you to see your build live while it's going on you can also see your filament and how much more you have you can control your heat settings your table settings your extruder settings all from this site if you were away from home maybe you're at work you have a bill going on and we'll talk about this here in a second if you see something going wrong with it you can shut it down immediately you can pause it you can do whatever you need to do right from your phone your computer whatever you don't have to download this app into your computer using files you just go to the website and it allows you to use it like that now that is a whole nother video that we will put up for you to see we'll walk you through all that but right now we're still setting this up so I want to do a print so we're gonna use the frog we're gonna hit build right and even though we're hooked up to the cloud now and all that fun stuff everything's ready to go 
that frog is going to print. The table is level. You can see it's starting to adjust up by itself. And the other thing I will tell you is this thing is extremely quiet. You have the front door that opens. You have the top door, the latch that opens. And if you had to get in there and adjust something or fix something or take something out, you know, maybe it's a piece of dust or whatever, you can do that very easily. But it is virtually silent. You can put this on. You can throw it in your office. I have it down in my basement. I can have this thing running. I don't even hear it. Okay, so everything now is starting to heat up. You can see on the front panel your temperatures. You want your nozzle to heat up to 250 degrees Celsius or 482 degrees. Your bill table, 70 Celsius or 150 degrees. It takes about two minutes for those to reach that temp, so don't freak out. But once you do hit those temps, it starts printing immediately. Take a listen to this. Now, as I'm printing out my beautiful, beautiful frog, I want to talk to you about one other thing you will need to download if you want to create your own files. If you want to do your own designs, you're going to need a slicer. I doubt you're going to print out frogs every single time. So what you need to do is download the Dremel DigiLab 3D slicer. It'll tell you in the book, the instruction book, or on your machine itself when you're setting up that you need to download this. And we'll do a complete tutorial on this, but if you want to run your own prints, your own designs, you have to have the DigiLab 3D slicer or some other slicer program. All right, now this thing's building. Let's talk about some of the specs and then I'll give you my final review towards the end of the video. Now, the 3D45, it does have the Wi-Fi built in has a guided leveling and the RFID filament recognition. It'll give you your temps. It'll tell you how long your build time is going to be. You can pause it and stop it right from the front screen, or you can do it from your Wi-Fi, your computer, with the Polar Cloud that we showed you or the Dremel Print Cloud. You have the assistant leveling. You have the expanded filament offering and the printability. You have the RFID recognition, configures the printer settings depending on the filament, which is pretty nice. You have the enhanced extruder and new heated build plate. It does come with a high definition camera inside of this and all you have to do is hook it up to your Wi-Fi and the cloud to use that. You got the one year limited warranty once you register it on the Dremel site like we talked about. You do get a couple quick start guides which are pretty easy to read. You get the filaments, you get the instructions, you get the spatula, you get the heated glass plate, you get everything you need. Now, even if you are not up to date with the latest modeling programs, which we'll talk about here in a later video, you can download anything you want for free online. Now, I downloaded this Lamborghini and I will tell you, it came out pretty good. Now, you're always gonna have to sand. It's never going to be completely smooth. You can do all kinds of different fills. You want a 100% fill, you just want the casing, whatever. You can adjust that all on your slicer, just like we showed you. But you also have to be careful with the models that you choose online. This one here literally took me two days. Now, that's really not Dremel's fault. That's every 3D printer. Sometimes they just take a very long time, but this is a larger model. And I put it on medium detail. You can go ultra detail or high detail even if you want. But something like this, I can take out in the shop sand her down, clean it up, paint it, and it'll look like a showroom model Lamborghini. But what I'm saying to you is, is that you can find anything you want online. You don't even have to design it if you don't want to, whether it's a fidget spinner or a car part or games or tools, it, it doesn't matter. I will show you how to download those in the next video. I'll show you how to clean these up, do whatever you need to do, paint them, all that stuff coming soon. But I will tell you, these do take a while to make something. If it's something smaller, it might only take you 20 minutes where this car and all the wheels, it took two days. But I'll also say this wasn't the best model to download. After I started it, I went back and looked at reviews of the downloaded model and they weren't that great. Now I made a couple other things other than this, a couple of specialized parts that I needed. I will tell you this, this machine is really, really cool. You can even adjust it to the point that if you wanted to put the wheels in yourself, you could and everything fit perfectly. I was really nervous at first to start getting into 3D printing just because the modeling, the 3D modeling, you know, I haven't done it for a while, but again, you don't need to really do that. You can find anything online. The learning curve on this machine is minimal. 
And even though I printed this out at medium quality and not the best model, it still did a very good job. I'll put a picture of the finished product up on Instagram. But I think if you were trying to get into the 3D printing world, this machine is just really, really cool. It's so user friendly. And again, I was really scared to even try it. Some of you wanted me to bring it to the channel. I did. I was nervous and I'm happy I did. Dremel did an excellent job on this. Definitely check this thing out. I'll put a link in the description below. We're going to have a lot more videos coming up on how to build things and how to print things and how to find things to print and how to model and all that good stuff. Now, with that said, if you liked the video, don't forget to smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any of these videos. Come over and say hi to us on the Instagram page at Tool Review Zone. I'd love to see you over there. We'll be back with more videos soon.